what is up guys it's day two on our project i'm gonna grab my stuff just got our vans redone so got everything organized and looking good so i'm gonna run in there and check on benny and cody and see how they're far far along there let's go check it out Right there. Okay. Let me cut a hole and drop this stuff down. Uh, yeah. I did. I don't know where it went. There it is. Cool. Yeah, I freaked out for a second because you're still building the screen. Yeah. This door. I was like, there's no way. I'm going to chew them out right now. <laughs> Cool, Cody's got the mount up there, a mount our projector. Uh, they got their Atmos added, putting in C16s up top. It was a Sonance uh, older THX speaker. As we said before, it, the room was wired in this configuration, which made no sense, because where are you gonna put your seats? So that didn't make sense. So Hold we on. popped those out, Benny rewired the fronts up here. They're all gonna yeah, get screen. He added the sides there, and we one rear was there. We we're gonna put, we're gonna put the other one up there. And yeah, just gotta assemble the screen and we'll put that together, and then we'll start working on the rack for the three stuff. Boop. All right, guys, here's our rack so far. I got all our shelves put back in. Got the Xbox up here. Uh, we have an existing receiver that we were using to power one of the Sonos ports. There's six ports in total, so we have six zones of music in this house. Uh, this one's actually powering six speakers, so I'm going to use that instead of a little mini amp. Yamaha 2080 is all installed. This is looking a hundred times cleaner than it was from the previous two, three, four, seven installers, however many people are here. So yeah, right now... Cody and Benny are in there working on the screen, so they're going to finish their screen. I'm working on my rack, and Mercedes is working on installing uh, five different Eero routers, or Aero, whatever, uh, so we can get the Wi-Fi a little better. Alright, cool. Keep it going. You doing Aero? Yeah. Yeah. Aero. This is another little project that we have to do next. The cameras are up there, so those are still working. There's the ISP shooking up her first Euro up there. And then we're gonna put one in the master, one in the family, one in the kids' game room. And so we're gonna see if those four will work actually. And then we have one on standby that we're going to put in the study if it's not working. But let's get it done. We got Cody's 159-inch 2.35 Cinemascope screen. Acoustic transparent, it looks beautiful. We got our sheetrock guy coming, he's gonna come patch up these holes tonight. So he'll be here at 5.30, I'll patch all those guys up. They got projector mounted, Epson 5040. Rear setup, overheads in for our nine channel system. Cody's just gonna pop that border along the screen right here. And then we're gonna pop that guy on the wall. Cool. All right, cool. So Cody and I, we got our sheet picked up, got our center left cut out. Uh, we need this because the projector, as I said before, it reflects nasty. So this will eat that up. I'm gonna cut this last speaker out right here next, and we'll go ahead and pop that screen up and get Cody out of here because he's had a long day. Don't be Is that the black Santa Claus? <laughs> it's just like Santa. <laughs> right, boom, we got our screen up now. 159 inch, 2.39. Mercedes got the remote all program, so it's got its two different settings. The setting you see now is the 16 by 9 setting. So it adds the bars on the left and the right, and then when we have anything that's widescreen or CinemaScope format, it'll fill up and zoom out to the, the max size. All right, Miguel just got here. He did his tape off, so he's plastic wrap off here. He's about to patch these holes up here for us, as I said earlier. It's a little late, so this guy's real professional knows what he's doing. He's gonna spray that, do these two. 
Uh, it's a little late, but 8 o'clock, so we're going to get out of here. He's going to finish up tonight, and we'll be back in the morning. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are back on day three, uh, third and final day. Guys got that speaker straightened out this morning. Uh, still got a tie on the projector. I got the subwoofer back there, back left corner. Get that 3 dB gain. Sheet rocker is all done with his patches. They came out really good. All right, now here's our final look at our rack. Now that I got it all tied down and complete, 100% finished. So let's start from the top. The top, I have an extra HDMI input. If he wants to add his computer, any external device he wants to plug in, whatever it may be, that's there, mainly for his laptop. Xbox One S, Aero router. We have this Yamaha that powers six speakers in the entryway. So you have your living area right here, where you can see your speaker right there. And there's one up on the other side, right inside there. There is two on the stairs below me, and then there's two right there in the entryway. I have all of those hooked up on this top Yamaha, and that leads back to our first Sonos port to allow music in the whole entryway and through house. After that is the Yamaha 659. It's a little, I use, we use these two older receivers, so we can save a little bit of money and pair them with ports as opposed to doing a $600 Sonos amp. So this saved, you know, 300 bucks and he was able to use some existing equipment. Uh, ultimate same end result. So this is for master bed and master bath. And then the other four zones, I use mini amplifiers paired with these ports uh, to make them, you know, $450 versus being $600 a zone. So we did that for the study, patio, kitchen, and game room, which is right here. Last but not least, we have the Yamaha 2080 powering the 9-channel 9 9.1 system in the media room. All right, so in here, as I said before, we wanted to clean this up for him. So I got the, one of the, the first arrow, that's the first one in line, and then she has four other ones that go throughout the house, so they got good Wi-Fi now so they can control their music right. So that's up there cleaned all this up for them it was just such a mess before so one of them be able to close this and show their friends what the gravy rack looks like without being embarrassed of it cool Here's play bar family zone we got that group to it the kitchen right here I said before, here's our downstairs. This is all one zone grouped in here. Some patios. Master. That's six zones. It's actually seven zones. Of Sonos. All right. Let's see if our patch is dried. Perfect. Tiny bit wet, but it's fine to paint over now.
guys. This one was quite the journey, but uh, we are 100% finished. Mercedes is demoing the downstairs right now. I'm going to go ahead and show off this theater. Let's check it out. I got my Harmony Pro 2400 right here. Let's go ahead and play Xbox. It's going to fire the projector. While this is all starting up, I'll walk through it a little bit. I've got those Sonance THX speakers. It's an older speaker, probably eight, nine years old, but after that 2080 and the tuning and calibration, it sounds phenomenal. So I got the left, center, and right of the standard THX Sonance. I've got the side ones with the bipolar design that has two tweeters in it that face opposite directions and that give the wider splay for the side left and side right, and for the back right and back left. And I did a standard Klipsch C16 that we wired in up there. Went with that 2.39 CinemaScope screen so we can max out the size we have in here. So I didn't quite have the height. So right now we are in 16 by nine format. Let's pop the lights off in here. So let's check out a demo. I noticed, hey, I'm gonna pause this because I have a CinemaScope format. So go hit this little plus button right here on the remote. Two point three nine. guys that's it thank you so much for joining us for those of you who stuck around thanks for sticking around check our the rest of our channel out we have a lot of other cool videos and a lot of cool new stuff coming out um we're also planning on some giveaways and different contests that we're going to start doing here soon so stick around and check us out